Hey, what is up guys? Moobear32 here. Usually on my channel you see some comedy or some wrestling or both or just whatever it is I feel like putting up just like today. Today it is going to be about the new receiver that uh, I'm trying to set up. I've set a million receivers up guys. I promise you I've never run into one like this. Uh, this is not my first Ankyo. I've had an Ankyo before years ago. Before the sound receiver that I had was a Denon, um, and I decided to switch back to Ankyo. I am trying to set the Ankyo TX NR696 up. It is near impossible. So let me explain to you guys what's going on really quickly, because I don't want to make this video three hours long, okay? So really quickly, out of the box, I set up my speakers. I set up all of that after the speakers were set up. Uh, I plugged the Ankyo up. It took me to the initial setup menu, which I'll show you. There's the initial setup menu screen on the receiver. And if I go to, uh, I got to find my Ankyo remote here. If I go to the screen, it actually, here you go, so you guys can see, ta-ta, here's the setup, you start out with the initial setup, it tells you everything that you're going to be doing when you set your Ankyo receiver up, as it should, and it is saying that the first step is speaker setup, next step is AccuEQ room calibration. And so on, and so on, and so on. I cannot get past the speaker setup or the AccuEQ room calibration. Let me explain why. In the beginning, when I set this up, when I first turned this on, and it showed me all of these steps, I hit yes. By the way, before I continue on with this video, you won't find anybody on the internet that has a video about the Ankyo TX NR696 like I do. I promise you, you won't. So if you're looking, this is it, okay? This is it. Nobody else is gonna do a video where they're going through it like I am. Now normally I have this camera on a tripod. I do not right now because I'm trying to be so detailed in what I'm showing you and doing in this video and what's not happening. In the beginning when I set this up the first time, it was working. Uh, so let me explain to you what I mean. I hit yes. I told it that I have 7.1 channels, okay? When I did this, okay, it did just what it's doing now. It shows you that all my channels are connected. They're there. They're visible to the Ankyo. But. Pay attention because this gets interesting. Also in the beginning, when I hit next, like this, it's telling you, okay, you can check your speaker connection with test tones from each connector, okay? So the volume level is up. It's at about 55. It was at 40 when I originally did this. When I hit next the first time, see that? Okay, I'm going to stand up, guys. So if you can see that, okay, you're also supposed to be hearing it. The first time I did this, you could hear it. You can't hear anything now. Each channel I go to, you are supposed to hear. You can't hear anything. You can hear nothing. It's amazing, right? Every single channel is connected. Now, guys, I have no idea what happened or what's happening or why it isn't working now. But uh, I'm going to call Ankyo out here and say that's pretty horrible. But, but forget that. <laughs> what's worse than this? Ankyo has a phone number that you can call for their 
customer service. Okay? Good luck with that. I, and I want to say this right off the bat, too. I don't give a care about giving getting people in other countries when I call your customer service. In fact, in some cases, just to be honest, okay, nothing against my own country. I love the good old U.S. of A. Always have, always will. But I'll be honest with you. In some cases, you want to get a foreign country when it comes to this stuff because I'm telling you, they know exactly what they're talking about sometimes. Okay? That... That's the honest truth. They know exactly what they're talking about. Sometimes. Okay? So you want to get that. That is a that is a benefit. Trust me. In this case, the person that answered had no clue what he was talking about. Okay? None. Now, he wasn't no help, but he wasn't much help. Okay, so that's the end of that story. Okay, good guy. Sure, he works hard, but not a lot of help. Okay, uh, and so there you go. Each time I go up with this blue line, you're supposed to hear a sound. Now, when I hit enter, which is next, there you can see that at the bottom of the screen there, it's going to tell you. Did the test tone come from the intended speaker? If yes, select next to proceed. If no, check speaker setup and connections. If rewiring was required, turn off and remove power cord. I did all of that, guys. So, everything is where it should be. When you hit next, it's going to tell you about the ACU, EQ, room calibration setup. If you hit yes, okay, it's going to ask you to set up the mic. Here's the problem with that. When you set, I'll try to, it's dark in here, so if you can see it, there it is right there. The TV light is helping me out here tremendously. That's the mic, which you see on the screen there. When you put that mic on the inside, because there's no sound coming from these speakers, guess what, guys? It's going to say, sorry. I didn't hear anything and you'll have no sound I have no idea what's going on I have no idea how Ankyo made this receiver and then put it on the market but here's the even scarier thing guys there is like little to no content on the internet except what you're getting from me right now what you're getting from me right now there's little to no content on YouTube on Google about the Ankyo TXNR 696 AV receiver okay and just so you know it's Ankyo and I'm not making it up once again Okay. There is little to no content on the internet about this. What is up with that, guys? Okay. So we're eight minutes into this video. And that is the conundrum. Okay. That is the conundrum. I'm not sure why. I'm not getting any... Uh, sound I'm not sure what's going on but I can tell you this not hopeful guys and I've even done uh, a factory reset on the Ankyo which I want to tell you how to do that if you don't know how to do a factory reset on your Ankyo there's an enter button which I let me get my flashlight and I'll show it to you okay so, if you can see that, there's an enter button right there. If you want to do a factory reset, if you're having trouble, hold enter. And while you're holding enter, press the power button on the receiver. It does not work from the remote, okay? And that will do a factory reset for you, okay? Um, I'm sure this is a fine receiver. 
Absolutely awesome receiver when it works. Sorry, I'm getting up, guys. But I'm here to tell you right now, today, not working. Okay? Um, I have never had a problem in all of my years doing anything with electronic equipment, setting up a receiver like this. This is a first, and I have never, ever seen where you look for a receiver setup on YouTube or on Google, and it's not there. What's up with that? Okay? It's not there. So, guys, there you go. The Ankyo TX NR696. Very difficult to set up. Again, at the beginning, I had sound uh, in the initial setup. If I go back here. Uh, I had sound uh, in the initial setup when I first turned this thing on. And when I got to the... I, I want to go one more step further and say when I got to the uh, Accu EQ room calibration setup... It started going bonkers on me. It started saying, oh, you know, uh, check your subwoofer. Guys, my subwoofer is on. My subwoofer is connected. Everything is connected as it should be. So there's that. I didn't want to make this video too long. It's 11 minutes long now. Probably be 12 or 13 minutes long when I'm done. Guys, if you know anything about this, it's a mystery to me. What's going on with the Ankyo TXNR696? If you've got some info for me or some advice, please put it down in the comments section below. I'll gladly take your advice. Uh, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I'm not an idiot when it comes to stuff like this. Seeing as, like I said, I've been doing this for literal years. This is not... My first time out doing stuff like this. I have set Ankyos up before. I have never run into this problem with Ankyos, Denons, Yamahas, whatever the receiver. I've never run into this kind of problem with a receiver. This is weird, guys. Okay? So, uh, if you know anything about it, please uh, give me a comment below. This receiver, by the way, was $700. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you know. You know, two heads are better than one sometime. I could use a second head right about now. Um, and thanks for watching this video. Again, you're not going to get a more detailed video than this on YouTube or even Google about this uh, particular Ankyo receiver than you've gotten in this video today. And um, you, it's very difficult to set up. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why Ankyo's customer service couldn't help me. They should have been. This should be their Kung Fu right here. Guess what? Their Kung Fu is weak. Okay? And apparently mine is today too. That's why I'm making this video. So, whatever you guys can tell me in the comments section that may help me out, please. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm going to listen. I'm not a person that's going to argue. I do not think I know it all. Hence the reason I made this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think again in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Moo Bear 32 out.